Next this evening, could Alderney be about to make a big step when it comes to our islands using more renewable energy? Well, after many years of speculation about just how much tidal power could be produced by Alderney's powerful seas, the first turbine is now on island and ready for a historic trial. Matthew Leach has all the details. The tide is turning on energy generation. The sea around Alderney has long been seen as an untapped source of power and a trial will soon start to harness it with this, the axial skelter. What we're now doing is we're in the operational phase of this, where we're operationalising the kit, we're putting it onto a mounting platform and we are taking it through a test process. The six metre long device has now arrived in Alderney and Spiralis claims it'll one day be able to provide enough power for the whole island with just three devices. Again, we're not asking anyone to believe us. All we're asking for is a test site off Alderney and we'll, get, we'll put it in the water and we'll prove it to you. Um, so, yes, we, we, we think we are very close to, to having a, a practical, um, affordable, deliverable solution. The trial has been welcomed by the Alderney community who gathered at the harbour to see the device being delivered. Whatever happens with all different tidal developers, the more that is spent on tidal development, the better it is for Alderney because our asset is out there. So it's just unlocking that asset. So these guys, whoever comes next or forward, is really, really important for us as we unlock tidal generation, which will happen, just don't know quite when. But this is a major achievement, so we're really pleased with the fact that Spiralis has got here. And there's a, we can actually see something for once. Alderney has been pushing for renewable energy for several years. Um, really excited, the team. A documentary filmmaker who lives in Alderney has been recording the progress, arguing that it's the boost the island needs. We've seen so many different prototypes and options, you know, underwater turbines and, and all this kind of stuff that is so sort of old and clunky and, and not so simple. This thing came across and people were just amazed when they came and looked at it and touched it. Tidal power across the Channel Islands has often been dismissed as a source we can't harness yet because the technology isn't there, but many disagree. Investment in tidal has been nothing like the investment and development in wind, but we won't get there unless we do things like the Albany project. But you've got a lot of companies wanting to develop it and prepared to come in and put the money in. They're just looking for sites to do it, and we have got one of the best sites in the world. Big claims are being made, with Spiralis suggesting that one day it'll be able to undercut the price Guernsey pays for power from the continent. If true, the future might not be turbines on the skyline, but energy generation hidden under the waves.